Let's go. Turn the unit on, and we'll go through a self-test procedure. So how, how long does this warm up take? About uh, the self test. Forty seconds. Yeah. Forty seconds. Forty seconds. What it's doing is it's actually uh, making sure that the destruction pins are in their proper uh, position. And so and now, now it's now it's now ready. It's ready. So you push down the button. It has locking drawer. Open the tray. We've already installed the appropriate adapters to fit hard drives. Mm -hmm. And preferably put the disc in. Uh, towards the back of the drawer, if you know that. Simply slide it in. And on this test, you have an option of doing auto, which is the degauss function, or just the destroy function, or you could just do the erase function if you don't want to destroy the media. On this test, we will do the auto, which will automatically throw two degaussing sequences into it. Then it will destroy or um, physically destroy the hard drive and then it'll do one more degaussing operation before it's completed. And that should take approximately two and a half minutes. As you can see the display gives you an indication of what is happening on step two and it's charging. So and now it's getting ready to degauss? Yeah, it, that, that was uh, one de degauss and then now it's going to degauss it a second, second time. Second time, okay. And now it's lowering the destructive punches to punch the holes through the hard drive. The breaking and crunching sounds are normal as the hard drive is being destroyed. It's charging for its third and final erasing function. Now it's safe to open the drawer, pull the drawer out, and you can see the hard drive has been successfully destroyed, degaussed, and physically destroyed. See the case is cracked and has been pierced.